Hi, and welcome to The Perm Show. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm Gail Langner. Today I'm here with Marie Hansen from the PAC. Hey, Marie. Hi. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, thanks for having me. Well, you've got some exciting things coming up. I do. Right. I am so excited. Um, September 26th, the last Wednesday of this month of September, uh -huh. we celebrate Women's Health and Fitness Day. Great. This is a national day. Um, many communities um, celebrate this day. Um, they open up their fitness centers and... Um, um, and make it a free day for anybody in the community. It doesn't have to, you don't have to be a member. Okay. Um, anybody can come in free of charge. Okay. This is a great time to um, come and try our fitness classes. It'll be free fitness classes all day. We'll be doing water aerobics at 8.30. We'll be doing yoga at 8.30. And we'll be doing a chair class, um, kind of a, a stretching range of motion class at okay. 9 o'clock that well, day. Well, that will be nice because that will give them a chance to try it out and see whether or not you know it's something for them. Exactly. That's a great idea. Exactly. Okay. So we're going to start the day with free fitness classes for okay. anybody. Like I said, you don't have to be a member. Okay. Um, so you know, if you are a member, this is a great time to bring family, your friends, sure. neighbors, you know, people like that. Sure. Um, and then also at 9 o'clock in, in our gym, we're going to be having um, booths set up. We're okay. going to be having um, the hospital over here. They're going to be doing um, free osteoporosis risk factor screening. Okay. We'll have Jefferson Hearing Aid here doing hearing tests. Um, American Heart will be here. American Diabetes Association will be doing free blood pressure te um, 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 tests. Okay. And then also another thing that really excites me is we'll be um, doing free nitrate testing. So bring in a sample of, of your, your water. water. Mm -hmm. Great, And then we'll Good get idea. that tested. You'll get the results the same day. Wow, that's great. So we're really excited about that. And that's all in our field house. Okay. So that'll be great. And that's right. the boost run from 9 to noon. All right. Okay. So, so All right. then um, um, we will be having a guest speaker, and um, we'll be having a dietitian. Her name is Sue Martinan. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard her before. She's just awesome. And she's going to be doing a talk on what am I really eating. Um, so many people, being the personal trainer here at the PAC, also so many people come up to me and ask me questions about, you know, you know healthy eating, and, and they get confused about going in. It's so confusing when you go to the supermarket and you walk down the aisle, and there's millions and millions of cereals to choose from and you're trying to buy healthy foods but right. you don't know what to buy high fiber low fat what do all those little labels mean exactly Light. exactly right. exactly right. you know and so um, she's gonna come and and that's what her talk is gonna be you know how to buy healthy foods knowing what to buy knowing what to look for on the label looking at the ingredients list making sure where does sugar fall you know if sugar sure. is one of the third you know one of the you know first three to five ingredients kind of stay away from that right you know right um, so I'm really excited to have her um, it's gonna be a um, awesome talk now Sue will be here at 11 15 that day okay and right. that's when her talk will start okay um, so it's gonna be great um, the whole day is just exciting um, um, this is our sixth year of having women's health and fitness that's day great. here and we get a really good turnout it is during the day um, mm -hmm. so um, if you can you know shift your work schedule a little sure. bit for those working folks sure. um, but it is um, starts at 8 30 and runs all the way till noon and what's the day again? September 26th. Okay. The last Wednesday in S September. Okay, so that's coming up pretty quick. Is. Now, is there any charge at all for that, Marie? Nope, it is free of charge. Um, don't have to be a member here at the PAC. Um, like I said, if you are a member, great time to bring your neighbors that maybe have thought about becoming a member. We sure. will be having some some member promos that day. So if you have thought, maybe, you know, you know, I'd like a tour of the PAC that day, Sure. great day to do it. Well, our manager of our facility, Kevin Nelson, will be uh -huh. available to be giving um, tours of the pack. So, um, and like I said, we'll be having some promos, some door prizes, free chair massages that day. Oh, yay. So, it, I mean, it's just going to be a really fun, exciting day. Well, it sounds like so. you've put a lot of really good thought into this. I think it's going to be super. I am excited. I'm yeah. excited. So, I yeah, if, um, if you can um, kind of reserve that day in your in your sure. on your calendar, um, we'll be uh, it'll be fun. We'll be we'll love to have the community here. If they have any questions, can they just call the PAC? What's the number here? Exactly, um, the Perm Area Community Center's number is three four six seven two two two. Okay, all right. Thanks a lot for stopping by, Marie. We mm. appreciate it. Thank you. We'll look forward to seeing you on the twenty sixth. Thank you. All right, great. Wait one minute. We'll be right back. Hi, and welcome back. Last week we interviewed Liz, Liz Swanson about the backpack program about the needs of the children in our community and their, to meet their hunger. Um, this week we're here with Jill Shipman. Hi, Jill. Good morning. And Jill is with Kinship. We're also going to be talking to Jill about how to keep those kids warm. 
So, Jill, why don't you tell the community, I know you've been doing this for several years, yep. exactly what they can do as far as coats for kids. Well, we got coats for kids coming up September 28th from 12 to 6 at Calvary, and we're looking for more coats. We want to recycle, so we're begging the community to go out into your closets, um, your, whatever your kids have outgrown, if you've outgrown it, um, uh, give it a quick wash and um, bring it in either to the Chamber of Commerce or to Calvary. Right. And we will turn around and give them out to other kids in the community. And we do it for ages, birth all the way to 17. So that's right. why I encourage adults Adult to Adult coats too. Yeah. Right. That's usually where we end up short is for the guys. Yeah. Yeah. So I usually do a plea at the end for that. So, yeah. um, so we're looking for coats. And then if you're in need or know someone in need of a coat, we encourage you to come to Calvary on Friday the 28th between 12 and 6. Right. Go through what we have. We have hats and mittens. Some people have turned in some snow pants and boots. And um, right. make sure we get taken care of and we stay warm this winter. So it isn't just the coats you need. It's also it, the, when the kids have outgrown their boots. when Boots and snow pants sure. and, and um, anything that you need for winter. Um, whatever we don't hand out that day, that Friday, then we turn around and give it to Richville, right. to the clothing mission, and then after that we send people out there. But uh, we want to do one big Coats for Kids, um, get people out. Last year we served over 200 people in the community, yep. so that was very cool. Yep. Um, this year I just have a feeling that it's going to be a little bit more. Um, you think so? We just wrapped up Stuff the Bus. and our How did that go? It went really well. We. Um, well, last year we gave out 200 in the Purim School District. This year it was over 300. Backpacks? Yeah, backpacks school, filled with school supplies. So we sent 300 kids um, to school with their pencils and color crayons and markers. And Isn't our community great? It is. It's just awesome. And to see those kids' face when they get their little backpack, they know they're going to school prepared. Um, in the county overall, we gave out over 800 backpacks. Um, so United Way and Kinship, uh, we team great. up together at Salvation Army, mm -hmm. and we just go at it and make sure every kid goes to school prepared. That's so now we want to make sure every kid, child has their, their coat and that they're warm. Exactly. Um, and we know what our winters can be like here, even do. though last winter really wasn't so bad. But, you know, um, yeah. I'm sure there's a great need there. Yep. So we just, uh, we hope it's a mild winter, but. Yes. <laughs> um, one other last plea is. Um, Your once mentors? Again, mentors. Right. Looking for mentors. So if you yourself have two to four hours twice a month or your neighbor or a church friend, um, please put the bug in their ear. Uh, befriend a child, make a difference in their life, help them graduate from high school and uh, contribute to our community. So right. um, we definitely need mentors. We need coats, and we're done with backpacks till next year. Yeah, right. Well, backpack, that part of it is done as far as the Although school. buy that stuff is, on sale, and you can donate right. still. Right. As far as the school supplies, we're done there. Yes. And so, um, but the mentors, and I know personally, I can speak personally, that being a mentor does not take that much time, no. but it can make all the difference in the world, and not just a child's life, but in your own life. Definitely. It really can. Definitely. It really can. So, um, Jill, what... What other things maybe could anybody help with right now? You know, we've, if you don't have a coat or you just have a little time, you could even help with the distribution or setting up with the coats for kids. Oh, that's a good yep. idea. You can help with any of our groups. We do our girls group and our boys group. We meet once a month. We got um, anything office help. We can use that. We can use help with our fundraisers. So um, even if you've got a little bit of time, you're not sure you want to be with the kids or just have some talent that you want to share once, um, feel free to give me a call, 346-7102. Right. Just do a little bit of background. Yes. Help, help in the background. There's a lot of little things that go on in the background, simple things like making a postcard, hanging up posters around town, putting things, that, you know, speaking to your church or getting the word out to your church. Um, I that's can't be everywhere, idea. so any well, support true. we can get would be great. Even though you try to be everywhere. I do. Right? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I need help. <laughs> she does. <laughs> so, but All anyway, right. Coats for Kids is Friday the 28th, 12 to 6. At Calvary. Clean out, at Calvary Lutheran in Purim. Right. Um, clean out your closets, make your donations, and then you can go get yourself a new coat. That's right. Yeah. Good excuse. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Thanks, Joe. <Jill. laughs> Thank you. And if you have something that you'd like to see in the Perm Show, just give me a call, Gail Langner. My number is 841-2094. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.